how's it going? Alright, um, today's video is uh, sort of a requested one and it's on circuit diagrams. Now, um, again with any of these tools of the trade videos, they're, they're just for beginners so advanced guys carry on, find something else more interesting to watch. But for those of you who are petrified of circuit diagrams um, or don't know where to start, I'm going to give you a few quick pointers on, well, yeah, just how to get started. Um, now, I'll start straight off by telling you that when you first look at these, they, especially ones like this, they just look like a mess and I'm not surprised people get put off them. You see wires going everywhere, all these um, strange symbols and yeah, very, very confusing. The biggest secret with circuit diagrams is to take them as a map and all they are is just telling you where everything goes and the best tip I can give you of any of it is to do one piece at a time. Now they're obviously going to be a lot easier if you're drawing a diagram yourself so if you've got a bit of a plan for a mod or you've done a mod and you want to you know write a diagram out so that you don't forget they're easy because you're doing them a piece at a time but if you're looking at a diagram to go and do a modification um, that's yeah when especially if like I say if you look at this whole thing here it, it throws you a bit so what we're going to do is just I'll show you how to break it down and make it nice and easy. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you um, a few of the symbols in that that um, for what we're doing with uh, modern consoles in that are quite handy. The first one um, is quite easy, it's basically you draw a line, have a few little squiggles on it like that and then your line carries on. And um, you have to excuse my rough drawings here, I, I thought it would be easy just to do it this way but what that symbol there is is for a resistor. Okay, so that's for a resistor and basically um, in your diagram as you're drawing along we can just put a little squiggle in and then carry on to whatever the next item in the chain is. Okay, the, the reason we use these symbols just by the way as well is everyone's got different um, different abilities of drawing and it's to try and make it a bit more universal so no matter who looks at it, it's going to be nice and easy. The next one that um, we're going to use a lot of is capacitors and they're really easy. So if we have our line coming along, all we do is put a dash and then a dash and that there symbols a capacitor. And if it's a um, polarised capacitor, so it has a positive and a negative, it's always good practice to put a positive or a negative on to show whoever's reading it which way around it goes. So in this case I'll put a little dash here, so that shows me which side's negative. And what sometimes people will do for the negative side is they'll actually make it a bit thicker, a bit darker like that, to show you um, like on the actual capacitors themselves how they have that stripe running down them. Okay so that's our capacitor. Okay so another symbol you'll need is um, to indicate ground. And that is, just put some lines like that, and our wire that goes to it. Okay, so <laughs> that's ground. Um, right, uh, what else do we need? Oh, yep. If you have wires that cross over. Now, some circuit diagrams don't bother doing this, but if you want to make it a little bit easier to understand, say we've got a track that comes down here and we have a wire that's going to intersect across it what we can do is as we're drawing it we just put a little hump like that just to show you that it does carry on but what you'll find though is a lot of diagrams that don't bother doing that they just go wherever they want so it's up to you to sort of use a little bit of common sense to figure out where they go the next one, which is quite easy, is if you have a line coming along, and by the way, the lines indicate wires, and if you were to put a join in it, you just put a bit of a circle in like that, and then draw your line off it. Okay, so just to indicate where a join is. So, how about we put this into practice, and um, I'll show you how it sort of works. Okay. 
Okay, so I've just drawn myself a little wee um, picture of our video encoder from our Mega Drive toe or our Sega Genesis toe. And you'll see that I've put the little round dot up in the top corner, which you find on the actual IC. And what I've gone along and done is I've actually numbered them as well. So I've gone one up here, 12 down here, 13, and then 24. And if, if you're doing your diagram, you can number each individual pin if you want. Just, again, whatever works, but, so, 13, 14, 15, we're going to have one joint, and 16, we're going to have another one here as well. So this is um, basically if we're going to draw a circuit diagram for our S-Video mod. So I'm not sure if there's any international symbol for the um, S-Video socket, but I'm just going to do it this way. Okay, so that's going to be the back of our S video socket, and I'll write up here S video. Alright, so our bottom two pins both go to ground. So I'll draw a line out and then put in our ground symbol. I'll do the same for this one. Okay, so the bottom two pins both go to ground. Pin 15 comes out, has a resistor in it, comes along a bit further, has a capacitor in it, and a negative leg, a little minus there, goes to there. Now just make this one a little bit darker, and what we'll do underneath our capacitor is we'll write 220 UF because it's a 220 microfarad capacitor so we just give our viewer a um, little bit of a reference as to what that is and our resistor here I'm going to do the same I'm just going to write 75 underneath it now you can put 75R um, or you can put 75 ohm whatever works for you so I'm just going to put 75R Alright, so that there is the chroma line done. Now we'll do the same for our um, luma. So, come up. Of course you do this all nice and straight and keep it pretty of course, but just to show you how this is done. And again I'll just put 75R220. Okay, so not very pretty, but Okay, so it's not very pretty, but if you had to give someone a quick reference on how to hook up his video on a Mega Drive 2 um, or Genesis 2, whichever um, you could quickly draw this out and paint or whatever works and then send it off. Now of course if you're going to make an actual circuit diagram that you want to keep you're going to use, um, you're actually going to draw square boxes or download the pictures or you know you can make it look a lot prettier but it's just to give you an indication of, of how the symbols are used and how we just do it a piece at a time. So let's have a look at something a little bit more complicated. Right. So looking at this one here, again, this is a um, same video encoder, so we've written on top here, it's a CXA 1645. And when you look at this, again, there's wires going everywhere. But the trick with it is, is just to take your time and do a piece at a time. So to give you an example, um, where should we start? Well, we'll start at pin one. Pin one comes out and goes to ground. So if you're wiring this up, you would take a wire and take it from pin 1 and hook it into ground. Um, pin 2 comes out, goes into a 0.1 microfarad capacitor, and you'll notice here, on this particular one, that there's no positive, negative, or no dark line. Now that's because these caps, the 0.1 microfarad ones, and the very small ones, are actually little ceramic capacitors and they're not polarised. So, 
if there's no marking like that and it is a low value it's safe to assume that it doesn't matter which way around it goes. Now what you can do too and um, it's quite helpful um, especially if you're looking at quite a large diagram that's been drawn professionally um, is you can actually just go to Google and type in circuit diagram symbols and one of the first pages there gives you an entire list of what all the universal symbols are so you actually be able to use that to tell you um, what it is. I think I've got it here we go here. So this site is really good um, basically like here's a diode for example here's an LED um, here's our transistors okay so what you can do is actually use a site like this to go and translate them. So just zooming into um, this complicated diagram I had going on the beginning here like I say if you take it one piece at a time you can see that it starts to make a little bit more sense. So in this case instead of drawing squiggly lines because this is a bit more of a, uh, a proper diagram they've actually gone and drawn little blocks here to indicate the resistors and you can see they've got 10k written on them. So looking at this diagram I'm not even sure what this is for actually but you can see that there's a 5 volt feed here so our power supply we've got 5 volts coming out of it and every single one of these resistors one side of it is joined to the 5 volt line and then a wire is going off and they're getting joined in so if I come over a little bit you can see here that this um, D0 line is coming along and before it gets to its destination there's a 10k resistor junctioned in with it and like I say you just do one piece at a time one wire and it all makes sense all right guys so thanks very much for um, checking this video out um, I hoped that I've um, managed to get rid of a little bit of the fear around circuit diagrams and I know that some of the pictures and that I've shown you certainly haven't been you know the proper way to do it um, but look I've seen a lot of variations on circuit diagrams over the years there's the ones that roll out of the factories for like when you're looking at how to repair a television set or something like that and proper schematics you need to know the proper symbols and if you're going to be working on something like that and you're unsure go and google um, like I say circuit diagram symbols find that site that I showed you and you'll be able to start translating it and as I said in the very beginning the biggest tip I can give you is don't look at the whole picture and freak out take it one line at a time do each one and get a piece of paper if you want and as you're doing it cross it off so you know what you've done you can also use them to go back and just reference everything if, you're getting, if your machine's acting a bit strange you can look at your diagram because it's your map and say right this is supposed to go to here this is supposed to go to there and you can just take your time and figure it out so yeah I'll look forward to hearing from you guys um, if you've got any more questions fire away um, yeah I always enjoy hearing from your feedback if there's something else you would like covered if there's um, something that's been bugging you and you need a bit of help on it let me know maybe I can do a video on it set you in the right direction I'm hoping to um, get back into doing some mod work I'm uh, pretty soon and um, I'm long overdue for um, getting back into getting this Neo Geo consoleized. So, but I think um, with these tools of the trade videos, you know, you gotta, you've got to start somewhere. It's it's all great me saying, oh well, do this and do that. But if you are struggling with the basics, and it makes the whole thing hard. So that's yeah. If you guys need help on something, just ask. It's not a problem. So thanks very much for watching guys and um, yeah, we'll see you again real soon.